This video will detail how to create the apron box that I have featured for Father's Day. It will come in at a size that is perfect for candy bars and other small items and I'm also going to show you how to enlarge it to make it uh, four inches deep by about nine and a half inches wide. This way you can place larger objects in it and make it a really cute gift basket. So this is an SVG file, so we are gonna go to upload. And normally you would upload the image. I do have it already uploaded, so I'm just gonna go ahead and insert it on my canvas. And once it comes in, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ungroup it. Now this comes in at the size to make this um, five inches wide by seven inches tall, basically. And you have all of the pieces necessary here. So really there is nothing to do but decide on the colors that you wish to use and go ahead and um, cut it the way that you wish. And I'm just gonna assemble it really quick here on the screen so that you can see it. The other thing that I did is I went ahead and I added some text to it to um, get it that Father's Day look. I I would change this to probably a lighter color and then put like a message on there like barbecue dad or um, grill master or something of that nature. And then here we have our utensils. I absolutely love these. I cut these out of a um, metallic, a matte metallic cardstock and they looked so darn cute. And so there is the basic look. This, of course, is your bottom piece. These two are your sides. I used um, a hot glue gun to assemble this. I did go in because I used a medium weight, I think it was 65 pound cardstock. So I cut um, these pieces everything except for this banner, the tools, and the pockets, and the tag, I cut two off. So I duplicated them and cut them out of a different color so that it has a little bit of contrast, but it also, by gluing them together, it made it um, sturdier. So you could use craft board or, as I say, two layers of cardstock to make it a nice sturdy gift box and then just go ahead and feed ribbon or twine string through your eyelets and decorate it as you see fit. Now to go ahead and make this the larger size, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take these two and I'm going to center them because I want everything to be based off from that size. So I want everything to change in proportion to that, except for the two sides and the bottom. I don't need those to change in proportion. So I'm gonna lay everything on top of that base apron shape. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select all of this and I'm going to unlock it. And I'm gonna change this to be nine and a half inches wide, 9.5. And then I'm going to change the height to 11 and a half. And I'm going to move this out a bit so we can see better. So now I have these pieces enlarged so that um, it does create that larger box and everything has stayed in proportion for us. Um, and of course you can have fun with these pieces and do whatever. Now these pieces, these two are exactly the same size. I'm gonna get rid of one. This we're going to again unlock it. I want it to be four inches wide because that's the depth of my box. And then I want this to be 6.25, six and a quarter inches tall. And that will form the sides. And I need two sides, so I'm gonna duplicate it. 
Now again, this is the bottom of our box. We're going to unlock it. And I want it to be four inches in height this time. And then I'm going to go with the width of nine and three eighths. So that is 9.375. And that forms the base of our box here. Now to duplicate this, again, you're just going to, the easiest way is to take the pieces that you want to duplicate. And um, these are the ones that you would duplicate to give the extra strength. Just put them all together, group them, and then if you click duplicate, you're going to have another exact set of them. And then you can leave them the same color or you can change the color, but that allows you to do that second layer when you create it. And now you have all of the pieces and you are able to create your apron your way. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. If you like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. And thank you very much.